let's go outside and play. Because drawing on location can be so much fun. And in summer, sometimes it seems like nature is just exploding. So many shades of green, so many flowers and colors. And when you look closely, each leaf that you see has a different shape. So today, let's tackle drawing plants and trees and everything around that. My studio is situated in a building that used to be a school. Now, the classrooms are rented by freelancers, small businesses and entrepreneurs like me. So this is Sketchbook School's Amsterdam headquarters in an actual school. And this is the community garden of the building. This is where I plan to sit down for about half an hour to draw trees. I found a really great spot in the community garden. Uh, there's lots of greens here. It's kind of hard to choose where to even look and what to draw, but I will draw the view that I see from here. And I'll take my artistic liberty, um, taking some things out, adding some things, shifting things, things together. Um, that's probably what I will be doing. I'm pretty excited to uh, get started and try to capture this green oasis. This is a fantastic garden and I really hope to capture the um, silence, the rustling of the leaves, uh, all those, those elements that you hear and feel and smell in a garden. I am trying to put those onto paper. So many leaves, so many greens. It's a bit overwhelming, so to get over the first bump, I am starting with watercolors. I will list the colors I use below the video. I'm not trying to mix the exact colors I see, I just find the right tone and brightness for the different kinds of greens. Don't think too much about it, just dive in. Then brush in the general shapes. I use my brush to make marks to indicate leaves and shadows. There's an endless range of greens you can mix by adding blue and yellow and brown for more earthy tones. This way you can capture the many greens that you see. The watercolor is still partly wet, but I think this part has dried, so I want to dive in using colored pencils. I want to start with the little tree in the center here, but the paint turns out not to be dry yet. So I'll do some mark making for the big tree in the background. I use the side of the lead of my dark brown pencil to draw the tree's stem and branches. More mark making, general leaf shapes, and then moving on to the smaller tree again. Let's also see if a white pencil can help me to add that light shade of green on those leaves. I am missing a little bit of context here. Of course there are buildings in the background, but I'm focusing on the greens, but this needs something. And luckily there's the string of lamps I can draw. When drawing plants and greens, I think mark making is key, instead of trying to draw each leaf one by one. It would be an insane amount of work. And also, when you look at a garden or a tree, you don't see each leaf. You see the general shape and colors. So by using all kinds of different marks and creating textures, you can indicate leaves and shaded areas. And of course, grab some colors for the flowers that you see. You'll need to find out which of your tools and colors work best on top of watercolor. For the stuff that's more in the foreground, I do draw some leaves, but again, I keep it general, an interpretation of the plants that I see. I think adding the big flowers and bright colors is the best part. This part is a little closer by, so I'll add just a bit of line in colored pencil. And then there's a plant right in front of me. I'll draw it in line using black ink. That'll make it stand out and it will add a lot of depth to my drawing. 
And I'll leave it transparent so you can still see the background behind it. I'll also add that table and the two benches, again to give the drawing context. Now it's clear that this is a drawing of a garden. And finally, the background needs a little something. I'll draw the side of the building and also the building behind the big tree. A little bit of light coloring, but not too much because I want the emphasis to be on the greens. That was fun and also really relaxing. Well, it was a challenge at the same time. Drawing while listening to the birds and the sounds of the wind through the trees, it slows you down to just be in the moment. I hope now you go and play outside and capture some greens. And if you do, please share on social media using the hashtag DTT in action so I can see what you did. Have fun. Bye.